Hello, I am Manish Bharadwaj, Systems Application Engineer with Texas Instruments supporting C2000 system solutions. Today, I am going to talk about the modular industrial drive solution from Texas Instruments and go over a demo drive system which we have put together using the modular drive concept. Here on the right side, we have the modular drives board which has the power inverter and all the control and processing functions needed in a drive system. On the left of the board, we see the power conversion and sensing circuitry and on the right, three control cards that perform operations of control, communication and safety. First is the new Delfino F2837X Dual C28X FPU control card which is used to execute the tight control loop of the motor by sensing the voltages, currents and motor shaft position. Multiple methods are implemented to sense the currents like current shunts, Hall effect sensors and sigma deltas using the AMC1204. Thus one can experiment with which one works best. The F2837X has sigma delta filters built in which makes it very easy to interface with sigma delta modulators. The board also has connections to read the data from variety of motor shaft position encoders such as resolver, bis, sign cos, QEP and NDAT. The second control card is the AM335X control card which is running the EtherCAT protocol stack and communicates with the human machine interface. Third is the Hercules safety MCU control card which can be used to implement external safety module for the drive system. The beauty of splitting the different functions in separate control cards is that this gives immense flexibility in system design and implementation. The board can also be configured with different isolation settings by putting the control cards either on the same side as the motor or isolated from the motor. In this demo, we will control a PMSM motor whose shaft is coupled with a resolver and a bis encoder using an HMI. The HMI communicates the position and the speed command using EtherCAT protocol to the drives board. Now let's see the setup running. Here on the HMI, we see options to select the speed or the position. Let's first select the position mode and using the slider, change the position command. We see that the motor responds to the command in real time. The position command is going via EtherCAT link to the AM335X control card, which then communicates this to the F2837X control card, which outputs the desired control values to actuate the position command it just received. Now, let's select speed mode on the HMI and vary the slider to set the speed command. We see the motor speed can now be controlled using the HMI over EtherCAT. We look forward to your interest in this solution and for further information, please visit ti.com slash product slash TMS 320 F28377D for more information on the new dual core control MCU. Thanks for watching.